Ajo, in company of three former presidents, Nigerian Chief Justice, Nigeria's Nobel Laureate and the Secretary General of the Commonwealth. At the other end of the room are heads of anti-corruption agencies from countries who are members of the Commonwealth. Of concern to all of them is the estimated $148 billion taken away from Africa illegally. The institutions of state dedicated to fighting corruption will be given... At this conference, the eighth in this series, their goal is to work together to recover and return the stolen money. Vice President Oshibajo declared the conference open on behalf of President Buhari. It is only through collective action that we can stay ahead of the criminal enemies who rob our countries and our citizens of their present and their future. Welcome. Two of Nigeria's former leaders in their separate remarks expressed concern at the level of corruption in Africa. <laughs> Commonwealth Secretary General explains the scale of the problem that she describes as ravenous storm. The difference between the money we need to deliver the hopes and aspirations contained in our Commonwealth Charter of 2013 and the commitments we all made when we signed up to the UN SDGs in 2015 and the money we have is the sum equivalent to that which is egregiously siphoned off by the corrupt practices of the greedy, the uncaring and the pernicious few. Participants talk about their expectations. I expect them to bring out a communique that is binding on all African leaders. We come up with some ideas as to how we go about recovering assets and returning back, uh, them back to the respective uh, states where they were actually stolen. In the four days of this conference, the ideas and expertise that will be shared would majorly revolve around assets recovery and return, and recommendations therefrom are expected to help the continent, particularly Nigeria, repatriate billions of naira reportedly stashed in foreign lands. In Abuja, Ibrahim Adra for Channels Television News.